Hey guys, so today Rocky and I are on the farm again. A few weeks ago, he planted some sweet pepper seeds and I took some shots of that. So I'm gonna show you how he went about doing it in today's video. I also took some shots of the different stages of development. And so today now, he's going to be transplanting the seedlings from their trays into the soil, right? So stay tuned. To get going with this process, you're going to need your seeds, seed trays, and a potting mix. For those of you who don't know what a potting mix is, basically it's a soilless medium that is designed to provide plants with everything that they need to grow and thrive. You can get all these things to buy at any local farm store. For the seeds, you also have the option of removing them from the actual sweet peppers and you can dry them and then plant them if you so desire. You can get seed trays to buy in different sizes. This one is a 20 by 10 so hopefully if all goes well, we'll get 200 seedlings. Rocky is now filling the cubes with potting mix and as he goes along he uses his hands to level off the top of the potting mix these are the sweet pepper seeds He's now using a finger to make small dents in the potting mix and he's doing this in each cube. The cubes are about two inches deep and the dents are about quarter of an inch deep. Now he is placing one sweet pepper seed in each dent. After he completes this task, he fills all the dents with potting mix. So basically, he covers all the seeds during this process. Now he's watering the seeds and after he's done, he's going to place the trays in a cool place and he's going to ensure that he waters the seeds every other day as they develop until it's time for transplanting. These are the seedlings at 14 days post planting. If all goes well, sweet peppers usually start germinating at around 8 to 10 days after the seeds are planted. As you can see, some of the seeds fail to germinate and um, this could have happened for several reasons. But to be truthful guys, we have never purchased seeds from the farm store and had 100% germination success.
if you're enjoying the video so far guys please i'm asking you kindly to hit that like button and leave a nice comment also share the video as well so that new audiences can get to discover this channel and be a part of our little community as well so this is the plot of land where the sweet pepper seedlings will be transplanted as you can see rocky is busy debushing the area and this is a part of the preparation for transplanting this area is about 600 square feet even though the soil has quite a number of rocks, Rocky is not going to remove them because they never usually affect growth and productivity. After Rocky debushes the land, he uses a pitchfork to help him to soften the soil in the spots where he will be transplanting the seedlings. So this will essentially make it easier to dig holes in these areas in preparation for transplanting. These spots are about two feet away from each other, which essentially will give the plants enough space to grow the way that they should, while at the same time allowing us to utilize the land space effectively. So guys, today is the day that the seedlings are going to be transplanted. Normally Rocky would have transplanted them at around 5 weeks. But it has been a busy time on the farm for Rocky so he didn't get around to getting it done earlier. He's now watering them before he transplants them. In so doing, you know, the risk of damaging the roots during transplanting will be minimized. The next thing that he has to do in preparation for transplanting is to irrigate the soil. And the reason why he's doing this is because he wants to make the whole process of transplanting easier. So as you can see, he is specifically watering the areas where the seedlings will be transplanted. Okay, so now that the soil has been irrigated, it's time to remove the seedlings from the seed tray. To remove the seedlings from the tray, all you need to do is just use one hand to squeeze the bottom of the tray and the other hand to hold the base of the stem and then just gently pull on it. When you remove the seedlings this way, the root ball is more likely to remain intact which will reduce the likelihood of the roots becoming damaged. And that's something that you don't want because it can cause the seedlings to grow more slowly after transplanting. Keeping the root ball intact is also important because it can help to minimize transplanting shock, which is something that you really don't want to happen because it can cause wilting in the field and retard the growth and the production of the plants. Rocky is now placing each seedling beside each spot that he prepared for transplanting. So this is just his methodology. You know, everyone has their way of doing things. This aspect of the process can be done how you choose to do it. For him, doing it this way makes it easier and um, he is able to complete the transplanting process quickly.
Rocky is being very creative right now because he's using a piece of wood he found lying around the property to help him to dig holes into the soil. And this is being done right in the spots that were previously plowed with the pitchfork. These holes are about two inches deep. You can also use a machete to dig these holes or whatever tool that you can find which will effectively get the job done. He's also transplanting the seedlings into the soil and um, notice that he doesn't bury the stem of the seedlings too deeply and he is also covering the roots of the seedlings to the same depth as they were in the tree. Once the seedlings are transplanted, he uses his fingers to press around the root ball so that good contact is made with the soil. So Rocky is now irrigating the plants, which is the final step in the process of transplanting. He will continue to water the plants every other day usually in the afternoons because it tends to be cooler then and this will continue to happen right back until harvesting okay guys thank you so much for watching we're now at the end of this video if you really enjoyed it and you would like to watch another video with us transplanting sweet peppers and harvesting them then please click on the link above